In this short tips and tricks video we're going to look at some of the ways that we can draw vectors to trace an image manually within the software. So as we mentioned in the introduction we've got lots of different tools that we can use to draw vectors so let's have a look at a few of those to trace the image of this bear. So we're going to start with the head so we're going to use the ellipse tool and I'm simply just going to roughly sketch in an ellipse so it roughly follows the shape of the head, close that down and then we're going to go into node edit mode and here I can just simply pull out the nodes or the control handles in order for it to follow the shape of the actual bitmap itself. Okay, there's uh, many tutorials available on node editing if you're not used to that. That will show you some of the tips and tricks within editing vectors uh, in node edit mode. Okay, so we've got the outer head there. So now I need to create a vector that represents the other side of this line. Now I could just draw another one or I could just simply take this vector here using control and shift. So control creates a copy, shift just means that I can alter the size of that in proportion. So you can see that there, created a new vector which I could go in and node edit by pressing N on the keyboard just to follow the other side of that line. Okay, we can just pull that out. You can see how quickly and easily we've made that extra vector there. So that's another way of doing that. So let's move on to the eyes. We know that they're rounded, so let's just use the circle option and just simply roughly sketch in the shape of a circle. We can come out of there. I'm going to create a copy of that by selecting it and pressing Control to create the other eye over here. So now let's look at the snout area. So again, I'm going to use the ellipse tool to roughly sketch in the shape of the snout. And then we'll go into node edit mode just to uh, finish that up. Pull that one out. So we're following the shape of the uh, line in the image. Okay, so that roughly follows that. Now we not want to create the inner one. So rather than doing what we just did here where we create a copy, I could simply take that vector, use the offset option, offset inwards by 0.1, press offset, and we can see it's created that there. Okay, so let's just go into node edit. So we've got lots of straight nodes there. So we can look at reducing those by using this tool here, fit curves to selected vectors. Now we want a nice smooth shape, so we're going to use Bezier curves. We'll input a tolerance and we'll preview that. We can see it still pretty much follows the shape. We've just reduced the amount of nodes we've got. And then we've got nice smooth points with Bezier spans in there. So we can OK that and I'm happy with what we've got there. Let's look at drawing the ear. For this I'm going to use the polyline tool. I'm going to use this technique where I'm just going to click here, click to this point here and I'm going to go back to the start point. So I've got two spans in there. So I'm going to take that, go into node edit mode by pressing N on the keyboard, press B to turn that into a bezier span so these control handles come up. I'm just going to follow the shape of that ear here and I'm going to press B on this span here to get the inside of that ear and you can see we've got the inner ear there. So for the right ear, what I'm going to do is take this vector here, go into the mirror option, flip about centre, flip horizontal, close that down. You can see it's created that mirror copy there and I'm simply just going to move that roughly in place to where the bitmap is. Okay, let's have a look at the smile. For this I'm going to use the draw rectangle tool. Okay, so this might be a little bit strange, but we'll see how this works. I'm just going to create a rectangle that roughly follows the length of the smile. I'm going to node edit mode and I'm simply just going to place the corners of that rectangle to the corners of the smile. And then I'm going to press B to bezier this bottom bit to create the bottom half of the smile here. Okay, and then we'll do the same this side be there and create that smile here. Okay, let's have a look at the nose. Another tool we could use is to draw curves. So if we just zoom in, this is like the polyline tool, except it will just automatically input smooth points. You can see that there. And then we'll look at another option for the uh, arm here. So let's use the ellipse tool. I'm just going to simply draw in a shape and just rotate that around. And let's go into node edit mode to try and closely follow that shape. So just pull in on those handles, bring that down, bring this one across, move that one over. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that. And then we'll do another one. So let's just bring that in just to get the inside. Okay, we're going to node edit mode and I'm simply just going to pull that over here, bring that one up here, 
move that one across. Okay, so you can see pretty much got that shape. And I just want to close that off with a polyline here. And I'm going to use this interactive trim option just to cut those vectors so you can see we've got uh, the finished part there. And then I'd carry on drawing the rest of the bear. So there you can see that there are many tools available that we can use to create and edit vectors when tracing a bitmap manually within the software. And that completes this short video. Thank you for watching.